You know the biggest problem in Ravenfield? You have a limited amount of health, and normally you just carry a few basic weapons. But what if you could change that? What we're gonna be using today is something called the Laser Designator. And we're gonna be going on the best map in Ravenfield still to this day. It was one of the first and it's still one of the best. And we're gonna be doing a lot of destruction, so we're gonna want a lot of bots. How about 200? All right, so here's the key moment. This, what we're about to do will define the entire battle. It's called Find the Laser Designator. This thing is gonna be weird. We who are about to die salute you. Look at all these poor souls. I mean, I guess they are on the wrong side. Well, actually, no, they're on my side. That is the right side because history is written by the victors. And by the time this video is over, we will achieve glorious victory. So here it is, the laser designator. Now you're gonna see, hey, these guys are going in. Well, you know what? One thing we could use is maybe a little bit of an airstrike support, right? So I'm calling it in. Now it's a little bit far away, <laughs> but you can see an arter arterial, what is this like, biology? An artillery barrage, called it on that spot. And now I have a little bit of a cooldown you can see on the screen there. Wait, four, three, two, one. And if we wanted to see a little bit close, well, you know what? There's a nice and safe little area of this aircraft carrier. Look at these guys firing missiles. That's very, you know, scenic. Thank you. Thank you. It's like I'm a director in a war movie right now or something. So I want to call in an airstrike right here at the tip of the aircraft carrier. No one ever comes over here. And in fact, maybe this would be a better spot right here. Yeah, I'm going to do it right here. So, oh God, that that's kind of a big circle now. Oh God. Okay. Uh, that was the airstrike. And I don't know what plane it fired from because it was stealth. Maybe they were fired from orbit. But that's not the only thing that the laser designator using the new Raven script can do. Oh my goodness, guys, what are you... That's not how you make more boats. Well, I'm in the passenger seat here, so I hope this guy takes me to where I need to go. Uh, why... Where... Where are you going, friend? I'm gonna commandeer the Marlin. Dude, this, we're, it's not time to go fishing. We need to invade the beach. All right, I'm in charge here. And basically we're gonna be hitting an area of the beach, which is usually pretty well defended. It's an amphibious invasion. We're using these Zodiac boats, right? And it's like, man, this is a contested beach more often than not. Wouldn't it be great to have reinforcements? And I'm glad you asked because yes, it's always good to have reinforcements. And using our laser designator, I guess we can call in ODSTs, a la Halo. Now that I think about it, I guess we did play a Halo mod a while ago, but y you're surprised there's not more. So it's like, do I want to call in an airstrike here? I mean, I guess I could. Here, let's see if we can't get some of these guys. But I, then I want to call in reinforcements. So, all right, play along nicely and get in the circle of death. <laughs> Guys, don't don't run near the circle of death. Okay, it's very it's very bad But what I want to do then is switch to reinforcements now There's this cooldown effect for everything right so say I want to hold this flag point or rather capture it from the invading Red army and I don't mean the Russians. So now what should happen is I got shot in the head I called in the designator for reinforcements, right? Well, let's try that one again. I think it was interrupted by my you know, premature death. I swear it never happens, but it did right there. It may have glitched out. <laughs> I mean, this is a mod. And as amazing as Ravenfield is in the modding communities, things can and will go wrong. So we've got to watch out for that. So I hit the beach with no reinforcements in my boat, no attack group. All right, so reinforcement. I've got a ready indicator. There's no cue for it. So I should be able to call in my reinforcements. All right, active. It's active. Whoa, 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 oh, I called in the airstrike. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of helping the enemy here, aren't I? For some odd reason, how is it that we each only have one capture point? Maybe there's a bigger glitch going on. Son of a biscuit! That dude just sniped me from across the map. And yeah, I think there's something bigger at play here. There's some grander conspiracy. And look at that. You see that little indicator? It's following me now. Guys, I broke it. 
I broke the game. So among the other weapon systems that the laser designator can use are an orbital mag cannon, which is magnetically accelerated cannon. Come on, guys, everybody on board. We got the uh, amphibious tractor there. <laughs> and then there's a glassing beam, which kind of reminds me of Halo as well, an orbital laser strike. And then you can even call in a nuke. All right, boys. Everybody out. Everybody out before you all die. Yep. They never listen. All right. Don't call in an airstrike. Call in reinforcements. Holy biscuits. All right. Let's call in a uh, reinforcement on the beach here. All right. It's ready. What did I just do? Whoa, whoa. What was that? What is that sound? And would you go away? Well, unfortunately, I don't think they made this laser designator dumb proof. So, like, I'm having a little bit of an issue operating it. It's like I never really read instructions. So, uh, <laughs> you can find yourself in some very interesting positions. Um... I guess one of the things I'd like to do is get up a little bit higher. Just a little higher. What movie is that from? Hold mouse to see where the first point is. Okay. Then I release it for a de desired point. We'll do right here. Okay. And then repeat to the second location. Okay. Oh, this is cool. So if I want a wider berth here. Now what happens? Oh my goodness. ODSTs. But they were those flares? How long is this supposed to take? All right. I think... I can only surmise that I I did it wrong. Well, that's supposed to call in ODSTs. Now, here's the question, and, and yeah, I'm, I'm genuinely not sure what the answer is. Is it me or the mod? <laughs> well, I will say this, that the glassing beam the max strike and the nuke would all be very very good to be as a raven player defending the beaches heads up guys get out of the way tell you what the ai definitely hasn't gotten smarter oh my gosh and neither have i so one of the things i'm gonna want to do is call in attacks here we go Woo! catch that plane it would be really cool if i could have done that in such a way where it would definitely hit him okay so i've got the airstrike reinforcements i don't think work there's the nuke there's the glassing and the carpet bomb. So that's definitely gonna want what I wanna do because guess what's gonna pop out of that? A bunch of bad guys. So when they land, call in a carpet bomb. Please bomb the carpets. Oh no, did we break the game? What is that? That's such a weird noise. We are airborne. Now, gonna try to get in a position. Unfortunately, whenever you die, which happens quite often, whether it be friend or foe, we're gonna do a, a reverse airstrike. We're gonna take the plane. Oh God. No, parachute. Now let me use my gun. Airstrike called in on the airfield. <laughs> it worked, but I died. But that's okay, because I absolutely destroyed their planes. Airstrike works. Reinforcement, not gonna touch it. Look at that. There's a, a, a minus six glassing. I really want to try carpet bomb and glassing. So some of these don't work though. So what does the carpet bomb do? Do I have to reload this thing? Look at the bottom left how it says zero out of infinity. <laughs> so the carpet bombing, will that work? All right. If I carpet bomb like right where those guys are. I mean, a helicopter just kind of flew over. Some artillery shells are going in, but I don't see any carpet bombing happening. It says it's active. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Okay, so like there's this stealth plane that comes out of nowhere. All right, let's try to show that a little bit closer. I've got to I've got to wait for the cooldown and hopefully don't get killed by my friend who's a little bit trigger happy on that MGG. But I'm going to show off the carpet bomb right in front of me or attempt to do so. I think with just a few little touch-ups that would work very well. Guys, this is this is a test range. Okay? You don't want to be here. Okay. So we pick the area and then I drag there. So that red square up, oh, those guys are in there. And then what happens, oh, is that stealth plane comes out and drops all the ordnance. Look at that. That's like something out of like Star Fox or Independence Day. Those are some big bombs. And sorry guys, but it was for science. My goodness, look at that guy ragdolling over there. Oh, <laughs> oh I love it. Okay, well, I'm gonna need some medicine, that's for sure. So carpet bombing is pretty freaking incredible. Okay, so carpet bomb works. Now there's the Mac round. Now, I think I can lock on aircraft, but I'm not sure. I think a Mac round would be very, very good against boats. So Mac, M-A-C, stands for Magnetically Accelerated Cannon. I remember those from the Halo franchise, and apparently there's Halo Infinite coming out. 
And that's what I was kind of alluding to earlier was like, I'm surprised there's no Halo mods. I think there are a few, but they weren't like amazing. And I don't, I haven't heard much about Halo in a while, but Halo 1 was like one of my favorite games of all time. I remember having LAN parties. That was before like, you, you couldn't play Halo online back then or you could, but so we're gonna call in a Mac cannon. The enemy, son of biscuits. This may not work. Mac cannon. Ooh. There's just ordnance. Whoa! I really wish, look at that, look at that guy glitching out. Hold on, we're gonna, we gotta see that one again. Don't get near my four-wheeler. All right, we've made it back here. Now, the Mac Cannon, I, I mistook. Okay, so we're gonna pick right there. And then what happens... Oh, that's the airstrike. <laughs> All right, Mac round. We've got six seconds, and it doesn't look like the blue guys are anywhere close. Is that blue? That is. I wonder if I could Mac Cannon that. I'm gonna try to. So watch. There's just like this massive, jeez. I, I took out the attack boat. It comes from like an orbital station. We've got the nuke, but we've got glassing as well. So glassing is like what the Covenant forces did to a lot of UNSC stuff in Halo, where they just like hit it with lasers. So I'm expecting lasers. I guess this cute little island would be a nice target for glassing. Alternatively over there, you guys are gonna get, whoa. Do you see that? There was a big old red laser. I think we need a, a closer target for glassing. This guy. You're gonna get glassed. There was a red laser, but I'm not seeing anything done. I think that's one of those that needs to be worked on a little bit too. But we know that carpet bombing works if I'm alive to use it. A lot of blue guys over there. A lot of red guys too. <laughs> Sniper in the window. Okay, okay, okay. We can do this. It's time to call in the nuke on the carrier. So I need to get in a good spot. Luckily, my four-wheeler's here already. <laughs> Sorry, P. You were in the way of scientific progress. And nothing can get in the way of me and my science. All right. We're not going to make the same mistake. Moving on. There's the nuke. Okay. You, sir, are going to get nuked. It's active. It's active. I'm waiting. Oh, is that the missile? Oh! <laughs> Everything is destroyed. What's my kill? 25. Ivan! Stop it! I'm nuking things, Ivan. Dude, look at that mushroom cloud just enveloping. Now, I wonder, I'm still seeing ragdoll bodies fly out. <laughs> oh my god, that's incredible. I'm gonna try to call in a nuke from the air by parachuting out again. It's, it's the closest I can get to having this plane able to drop nuclear ordnance. So we gotta get up high. Oh man, this is, I'm gonna, definitely gonna be what is known as in the blast radius. Aren't I? I mean, it's a mushroom cloud from a nuclear missile. Oh, look at that. That's one of my target indicators somehow. Now we want to fly over the carrier. All right. <laughs> Biscuits. Get out of here, Paul. All right, we're approaching one of our Ford operating bases. So I'm playing bumper cars here. And hopefully these guys can protect me. Sorry, T. Sorry, other dude. Look at these guys. What are, what are you doing? What are you looking at? Like, <laughs> okay. That's exciting. Time to run. Let's get the nuke ready. I want to nuke the carrier once again. All right. I want to see it come in. Oh. Marlin. Now I want to stay outside of the blast radius. I think it passed. I wonder if we could try glassing that thing too. I've got 13 seconds. So I think since I hit the side of that, you can see all of the vehicles burning. Everything is down. And in fact, there's nobody up there. My kill feed isn't adjusted, so me nuking it doesn't count. Oh, that's how glassing works. I call in the laser myself. That is interesting. Now they're all running to their stuff, so let's try to call in a carpet bomb and an airstrike. Now, can I call them both in? Ooh, ooh, ooh. there's airstrike. Airstrike awfully seems similar to carpet bombing, though, doesn't it? Oh, yeah, carpet bombing is unique. If I could, if I could get that correctly well we got shot in the dome so the laser designator using the raven script raven script is probably one of the coolest things because it essentially is added uh, allowing the modding community to create a number of like wildly unique in game altering mechanics to Ravenfield. I mean, if only we could add Raven script uh, multiplayer <laughs> and get multiplayer in here, that'd be amazing. But one can dream. All right, so we're gonna try to carpet bomb 
from distance. So I think I gotta get that spot and like that spot. There we go. There's the carpet bomb. Call it in the stealth plane. There it is. Oh my gosh. And then I get shot. See, it's like, it's like the AI just like continually trolls you. But that plane looks like it comes from like another dimension or it has light speed or something like that. Anyway, it's absolutely nuts. But the laser designator is incredible. It's available on the workshop. So anyway, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching another episode of Ravenfield. If you guys want to see more, let me know which maps or mods should we check out. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.